for instance, God tells us the name that his people are to wear. Uh, in the book of Acts chapter 11 and verse 26, in Acts chapter 11 and verse 26, <clears throat> The first time the name Christian is used. It says, And when he had found him, that is, Barnabas found Saul, who would be known as Paul, and when he had found him, he brought him unto Antioch. And it came to pass that whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. Now notice, And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. What were the disciples called? They were called Christians. Now if you look up that word called, it's the idea to speak by divine oracle. That is, God called the disciples what? He called them Christians. That is a divine calling. It is the divinely important uh, appointed name. God called them Christians. There in Romans chapter 7, it talks about the woman who has a husband and she goes and gets her another husband. She shall be called an adulteress. It's not somebody just throwing off on her. It's, it's by divine oracle. That's what God said. Because if you've got a husband, you can't go out and get another one and without committing adultery. It's just, that's just the way it is. So God called the disciples. Oh, what did he call them? Christians. In Acts chapter 26 and verse 20, 28, Agrippa said, Almost persuadest thou me to be, what? A Christian. And then in 1 Peter chapter 4 and number 16, 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 16, Peter says, if any man suffer, <clears throat> uh, uh, excuse me, First Peter 4, yeah, if any man suffer as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this behalf or in this name. Now three times we find the name, the, name, the term Christian. And that's what God called his people. And yet what do we have? The people come along, well, may I not call myself a Presbyterian, may I not call myself Catholic, may I not call myself Nazarene, may I not call myself a Pentecostal, may I not call myself a Baptist, may I not call myself a Methodist, etc., etc. Well, no. Because God called his people, his disciples, he called them Christians. Who are we to exalt our wisdom and our think so's and our mindset upon the will of God to change God's will when he called the disciples Christians. If we're going to be a disciple of Jesus, we'll just be disciples of Jesus. And the disciples of Jesus are called Christians. <coughs> but sometimes we are like name and all, and we say, well, may I not? And we come up with all our human reasoning. Well, no. God called his people, his disciples, Christians. 